Hello everybody and welcome to what is the final episode in our Jurassic World playthrough. It has been quite a journey from just building this main street to building all the enclosures then then transferring this all the way to PS5 and literally remodeling part of this. It has been quite a journey and today we have one final piece to do before the inevitable destruction of this park. And that is the Indominus Rex pen, which also, I know some versions, I, I didn't know, I made this already, but I've seen different versions of it. Like, concept art has shown it to be uh, octagon as it is right now. Some version, the movie shows it to be more hexagonal, but I couldn't actually fit the uh, decent sized hexagon, so I went for an octagon. So we're slightly inaccurate, but you know, it'll be fine. And today we are building the terrifying Indominus Rex pen. And of course, we should start by, you know, making the fencing look a little more accurate. You know, I would have loved if they actually included it as like, you know, a scenery item. Now we're gonna need, no, not that. Yeah, that's actually good. We'll use this here, and then here. Now, hold on. I got an image, actually. Yeah, it's at the gate as well. So, yeah, we are... Oh, it's, we've been on quite the journey, guys. It's been not too long, actually, but... Well, it actually has been for you guys. For me, it hasn't been as long as I thought it would be. But, you know, we're here. We're finally making Jurassic World complete, and then we're going to be starting other series, which also a little news announcement for the channel, and that's that um, I am starting school soon, like, well, university for what? Well, film study, well, film and video production. So I won't be able to do as much on the channel as like I would normally do, but because, well, you know, school's a priority, guys. So. There will still be stuff on the channel. I'm still going to do unboxings and all that, but when it comes to, like, content, it's going to be questionable how much there is. Hope you guys can understand that, but I will do as much as I can if I'm able to. Because, you know, priorities, people. I'm sure a lot of you can understand. That's good enough. And we have the little Indominus Rex. Well, not real. Oh, my God, that just went dark. Ooh, geez, that sp the light just went flashing. I don't know if the screen caught it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, right. This is going to have to be like, the well, whatever. All right, so now I want to get that shot, like, accurate to, like, how it was in the movie. Like, you know, I know there's, like, a little game trip. Well, actually, I know how I can do this. We'll use the dirt texture to be sort of our direction. So it was right... And it was literally on the other side. So, yeah, we'll go here. This will be our open spot for sure, which I'm thinking we'll put the water around the corner here. And then we'll have a little bit of an opening here. And what the hell is up with those? Those dinosaurs are so loud. I haven't even... And it's not even the T-Rex this time. Rex is actually behaving. She's not dead, is she? Nope, she's alive, okay. I was gonna say, if she's being quiet, then that means she's probably dead. But nope, she's actually behaving this time, for God's sake. Also, thanks to all the support for the, um, Raptor video, guys. I got a lot... That was a lot more successful than I thought it was gonna be. But, you know, we just need to now actually make the Indominus Rexes. And that's right, I'm saying we're making Indominus Rexes. Why? Because we're gonna have two in there. And one's gonna eat the other, which... I'm gonna have to save it right before, you know, I let them fight, otherwise then, you know, all my dinosaurs are gonna kill each other and then it'll be a pain. So, let's get Indominus Rex right here, and we'll make it a beast as usual. And, no, take off the pattern, it doesn't have a pattern, goddamn. Alright, so sickly? Nope. Intolerant? Of course. No! Um, let's see. Okay, let's get all these to two first. And then, definitely strong. Yeah, there we go. A beast of an Indominus here. And then just to make sh And then we'll make another one with a different skin color, because why not? Let's go with, uh... 
Well, there's no, like, really dark skin, so... I haven't seen so bad. And we'll have... Chakarana. And there we go. There you go. You guys will incubate. And we'll just need to, um, do the little montage, of course. guys we we are back just as we finished it up and yeah it's very forested and i just realized i do need to change something i need to make it look more gravelly so i'm gonna try and put touches of sand on the dirt i wish there was why don't they include gravel like they did in the first game like i think it was with penna and sorna 1993 why didn't they do it with like all the islands like just include all the terrain options that just makes more sense doesn't it because it'd be so cool if i could have gravel because like it would be all over here instead of you know sand but yeah like i tried to get this sort of mixed up i also probably should um cut the grass here okay the grass is still not cutting I don't know why there's so much grass here, but it won't go away, so... Uh, that'll... Yeah, it's fine. It, it gives a clear opening here, which is what it's supposed to. I'll probably put, like, maybe one tree here, like... Yeah, let's put one big tree there. This feels a little too open. Because, yeah, it needs to be more closed in, but I need it a little bit open for, like, Indominus to run through. Like, that's what it's supposed to be like. Indominus runs through, and there's supposed to be trees, like, sort of covering it up. Because, like, remember there's that shot in the movie where it's eating, like, one of the, um, security people, I believe. And, like, you can just see glimpses of it, like, ripping him his leg off and stuff. So, yeah, but there it is. There is the Indominus Rex enclosure, and... As you can see here, if we get the shot, this is like the shot from the movie. Just ignore the meat, but like this would be the shot where like you see it rise up from beneath. Probably like right here. And like its head's hidden there, its back is just barely reaching above. Wish there was a few- we need more variety in plants, I gotta say. Like, I'd love there to be so much more. Maybe we'll get those in updates. But we also- since it's on the next day, which may be the final day for Jurassic World, we also need to create our Indominus Rexes. Select eggs, strong, aggressive, and intolerant, of course. And then this one, strong, aggressive, intolerant, of course. And we'll just speed that up, because we don't want to waste any time. And yeah, another short video, guys, but, I mean, this park is like, it turned out better than I thought it would be, because like, this map is realistically smaller than, like, the Isla Nublar one, at least in my opinion, because, like, I mean, just a perfect way to ex to view it, this aviary, this size right here, is probably only a little bit bigger than the aviary that was in the first game, because, like, the first game's aviary, if we compared it to this, was, like, twice as wide, almost, and, like, engulfed this. One of those, like, if I just grab one, actually, just to show, like, like, it's this aviary. I think this, no, this is the Jurassic Park one. In the first game, it enveloped this. Now look at it. It's not even bigger than it. It's not even taller than it, actually, I just realized, even with that antenna, which, it's weird, because, like, 
They've shrunk some- Ah, there's Rexy finally interrupting us. Very good, very good. But yeah, like, it's weird, because like, the thing- Some of the buildings in the game feel smaller, or others feel bigger. And this map, like, it is huge. Like, I mean, look how much we fit in it, for God's sake. And we still have plenty of space. Like, I could have easily fit, like, enclosures over here, and I could have done so much more with the space. But, realistically, yeah, look at how much space I still have left over. Like, I've got, like, a space for the Indominus Rex here, where I can land my helicopter. Well, not really, because, you know, it doesn't touch the ground. But, yeah, it's... It's been crazy, actually, and let's just release. Now I'm gonna be stupid. Those poor people are gonna panic. I just want to see the animation. Ah, uh, yes, we got the cinematog cinematic one. Very nice. It camouflages. The people are getting their first taste of the Indominus before it breaks out. Now we'll just need to get the helicopter very quick. Oh god, he teleported. Uh, where's the helicopter? Uh, ACU! Emergency! Emergency! Shut this thing down! And of course we'll just transport its sibling, which... will of course turn on the combatant... combat for this, which release via airlift, and send him all the way, Dr. Wu, to your magnificent enclosure. I don't even know, will they even be able to fight? Dinosaur threat! Where? I, I don't see anything. No, I really- I really don't. Where's the dinosaur threat? What's red? Oh. Well, it's supposed to show it actually- be Oh, it's because it's got the target signal, that's why. Oh, he's going through. He might get away. Well, he hasn't been hit yet. Oh, wait, no, he has- Oh, there- Oh, ouch. Well, I can't see his face- Oh, God, he's done the- He's just, uh, he's just fully relaxed. He's like, uh, oh, what a day. I just like some tea. Which, also, devastating news, guys. I don't have any tea for this recording, so I can't even play Hobbit music for you guys. Ah, eh, screw it. We, we can play it for you guys while I cry. <laughs> anyway, quit whining, Austin. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, did I... So yeah, guys, weird thing about the Trandon is, if you guys saw my, um, ranking of all the pterosaurs in the game, I'm pretty sure I have released that, otherwise I'm really crazy. But, yeah, apparently this is the neutral version. Like, this is the one from Jurassic World, apparently. No, it's n I'm just gonna say, that is 100% hugwash, because... It should have nice, vibrant red on its head, but nope, it doesn't. And... Well, what, what can you do? And guys, we are so close to Dominion. Like, this- I'm recording this after the, um, Dominion trailer came out. And oh my god, that was so awesome. That was insane. I'm sorry I didn't do a reaction video, but I was getting stuff for school. Because, well, you know, priorities, people. I know. I'm sorry about that. I wanted to do, like, a reaction video, but I just, I couldn't. As soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, god damn. But, oh well, we we live with what we get. Now, where's the other end up? Oh, there it is. He's just like, da da da. Meanwhile, all these dinosaurs living peacefully and happily. Oh, that's a shot. Just don't look up, Gallimimus. Don't look up. But do look behind you, because you almost got ran over. Yeah. Yeah, they have no idea of the doom that comes for them. Oh well, not that my problem. So let's see the dark Indominus Rex. Well, it's not really dark, but it is quite colorful. Now, you will be the one to be killed, hopefully. Or, I, I don't know, you're both the same, actually, so... Who knows how it's gonna go. Now let's speed it up. Come on, hurry up, Indominus. We're gonna need to turn on combat, which... Actually, we'll first... Actually, get rid of the- no, I don't need to get rid of their food. Alright, he is landed. Alright, the conflict can begin now. They will attack each other if they feel like it. So, I'm just gonna wait- Oh, in the shadow- Oh, I can barely even see him. What is he doing? Oh, he's sneaking. Wow, that's- Okay, that is so creepy. Just a dark shadow just creeping towards. Oh, now he's doing it too. Are they gonna fight already? 
Oh yeah, they're roaring. Oh my god, that is so creepy. You can barely even see the Indominus there. Oh boy. Hold on, let's get into capture mode. This is it. The first battle. The true strength of the Indominus. Who will fight? Well, actually, I know who fights. It's Indominus. Who will die? Will it be the white one? He never told me it was white. Oh yes, the white one's going first. Yeah, we know which one must win. He never told- Also, why does the Indominus have some green on his face, actually? Like, do you not see that, guys? In the light, like, there's bits of green. Did it have? It didn't have those in the movie, did it? Oh, oh he camouflaged He's like, I'm out of here. Uh, though, guys, you gotta admit, that was a horror scene 101 right there. Like, uh, you just see the big brown lump of darkness in the shadows just rise up and just lower down, creeping towards you. Ugh, it's sending chills. It's not even Halloween yet, for God's sake. Don't scare me yet. Also, I've heard that apparently there might be an update to the, uh, what's it called? Uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? First person view. Apparently, there will be some updates. I don't know if this is true. There's, like, some rumors that, like, you'll be able to go into, like, the regular forest, which I should be able to go in this one because it's mostly just scenery trees. Oh, God, where's the end up? Oh, there's one. <sighs> Shh. Wait. Crouch. Shh. We can't, we can't let it know we're here, even though it already does. It tricked us into coming in here. It scratched the wall. Why, why, why are you showing that? Hi, do I? <gasps> oh, there they are, both of them. Wait, there's two of them? Abort, run away, run away, run away. Oh no, run. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yep, here's a border. This is full on um, regular force. Yeah, like apparently it's gonna, there's gonna be no more forced hitbox, and also apparently there will be, um, whatever it's called. I don't know if the, I doubt this one's gonna happen so soon, but apparently you might be able to interact with these guys soon. Like, actually they'll be able to sense you, which, oh my god, that'll be so cool. Like, imagine if, like, you enter an enclosure for a dinosaur, you enter their territory, they run straight towards... Um, where their territory's been invaded and you have to hide like crouch and like go into the forest to hide And if you're spotted you have to run like f I'd love it to be simply like for their way of killing you is simply they run towards you and make a loud like roar and That's basically what happens and you just get booted out. That's what I would love for it to be They don't have to do like animations or stuff just have it run towards you and then in like Indominus say like this one spots me I don't run away fast enough it roars like in a way that's like scare the crap out of you And then you just get booted out like boom like that that would be so cool to me, but uh, I don't know comfort Annoyed, and also he's got a broken claw. Now which one's wh which one's which? Okay, yeah, you're the. You've got a broken claw. That claw. Oh wait, who's dead? Oh my god, it's wait what? A paddle? How'd you die? Oh, you sukumimus buggers. Well, it's a good thing I saved already before this, otherwise- And of course- well, it looks like these guys are turning on each other too. It's just madness in Jurassic World before I even, you know, destroyed the park, you see. But, oh well. Now, are you guys gonna fight? I need someone to die. Like, or at least something to happen. But, realistically, we- we could just put you to sleep and stuff, and that would work, but- Oh, are you doing it? Oh, yep, yeah, he's coming towards you. Well, she actually. Missing force, what? Okay, so apparently this guy's not happy. He doesn't have enough forest. How is that possible? Like, look at this. This enclosure is forest. There's like... I, I'm so, I'm not surprised that he's unhappy with the amount of um, open space, but forest. He also doesn't have enough water. Wow, he is pissed off. Wow, jeez, nice job. And no wonder he wanted to break out. I mean, he was like the big one, really. They just didn't have enough space. 
But guys, they're probably not going to fight right now. I'm going to end it here in Jurassic World, the conclusion of this park, the Indominus Rex. Not a perfect recreation since, you know, I made it an octagon instead of like, you know, a hexagon like it's supposed to be. Think of it. Yeah, it was a hexagon. So maybe I might change that or something in the future. I don't know. But guys, that is... Wait, well, it's probably some... Well, I see you're you're really dead. You're pale. But guys, yeah, that is going to be the end of Jurassic World. We'll, of course, do the tour video. Oh, we've lost um, two ichthyosaurus again. Hunted down by a plesiosaurus. This Mosasaurus, it is a complete pacifist, like when the game first came out, and he's also glitched as well. What the? Um. Excuse me? Okay, okay, he just went way glitched there, because apparently he just ate the shark. Huh. Well, you know, the weird thing is, in, when you came out in the game's launch, like, almost six months ago now, you were a complete murder machine. Now, you're just a pacifist. You haven't killed a single one. I was expecting them to all be dead, but, well, we, we live and learn, I guess. And guys, that is the end of Jurassic World. In the next series, we are going to be building the Biosyn Sanctuary. Though it's not really a sanctuary, as we know it's with Biosyn. But until the tour video, of course, and the breakout, and anything else, I hope you enjoyed this series. What was your favorite part of this? What was your favorite enclosure, actually, that I built? And did any of you use an any of these for inspiration let me know in the comments below and if you've enjoyed the video and this series i'd appreciate the like and if you haven't already oh we've lost a few more two more ichthyosaurus hunted down well before everything's dead leave a like hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we're almost at 3,000 subscribers it has been a journey i wish you guys well and hopefully i think hope you guys wish me luck for my career in film Hopefully. And until next time, guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.